Welcome to Marketing 13, Why Clear is More Compelling Than Clever. And I want to start with this, which I've been saying quite a bit in all 13 of these, but these are the biggest ad failures. Number one is the generic all things to all people marketing. We have something for everyone. And we don't go to a place that have something for everyone. We go where there's something for us. Number two is promoting everything we have to offer rather than that one primary lure. So like Orlando promoting Disney World and says, and we have Disney World and 172 other attractions. And then the third biggest failure is too much clutter because we're trying to be all things to all people. We have too many photos. And with ads, you have two seconds to pull them in. Being clever rather than clear. These days, people want to cut to the chase, and that's so important in everything we do. And number five, promoting location over experience. And we've talked about that extensively. Always promote the experience and say, and here's where you'll find it. And promoting the same things your audience can already get or do closer to home, which means I can already do that closer. Why would it go to you to do the same thing? And so when you see ads, you'll see we have two seconds to pull us in. Right now, you've seen this for 10 seconds. You know, but sometimes you do a new adventure around every curve. You know, could that be anywhere and anywhere? And, and so there, I thought, man, if the focus was that roller coaster, that could be quite fun. Or look at that little tiny photo there, but it looks like they're on a raft going through these almost, you know, uh, this ravine on the water. That looks amazing. But what happens is in two seconds, all we see is four photos, a whole bunch of things going on. And that's the problem. Here, it's one adventure at a time, which we could do anywhere, and explore caverns, explore, soar, and pour. See what I mean? We're trying to be clever. And I thought, man, we got just too much going on with these. And so that's these are those challenges that you have to get past. You know, I love seeing the boat down there, you know, going through that, through those dells. You know, this one here, the top right is historic Jonesboro, Tennessee, one of my very, very favorite towns. And it's the story capital, storytelling capital of the world. <clears throat> but you wouldn't even see if, if you look really closely at the ad at the very, very top is this storytelling capital of the world. The problem is in two seconds, all you see is historic Jonesboro and a kid licking a sucker, you know, no, no offense, it's a cute photo, but you're missing the whole point and the draw that would get us there. It's the best festival I have ever attended in my life. But once again, they missed the point. You know, here's Wisconsin. You know, here we're promoting place over experience, you know, Superior and Douglas counties. You know, um, here we're promoting a list and too many photos. You know, we got one, two, three photos there. And it's got maritime history, outdoor recreation, culinary tours. But in two seconds, you already lost me. You know, here we're trying to be clever, coast for a while. And I have seen that in many other places. But, you know, it doesn't really tell me why you should coast there over someplace else. You know, and I'm not, these are great, great towns. Bayfield down here, marketing all rather than the primary lure. And Bayfield, Wisconsin is one of my favorite towns anywhere. But you know why people go there? To kayak the Apostle Islands. And yet all we see is a picture of a marina. So these are all those things where we're trying to be clever or we're trying to be all things to all people. I mean, here, Kentucky's number one antiquing destination should be the primary lure, not Cadiz Trig. So clear is always more compelling than clever. You know, I did a webinar a while ago where we talked about high-level Alberta, Alberta's most northerly town, and I redid their ad to be this, and they're clear. The northern lights should be on every bucket list. It's the primary lure. It's very clear, and when you see the photo, you go, whoa, right? Big, big, big difference between those, and one of the top 100 things you must see before you die I mean, so that's what I'm talking about. Clear is more compelling than clever. You know, this is when you're at Pike Place Market in Seattle. Look at James Beard, award-winning Tom Douglas, makes famous Dungeness crab cakes. They give you one, two, three, four, five, six, six things you got to do while you're there. Very clear, cut to the chase, 
makes you want to go there, closes the sale. Even here, Towson, Wisconsin, you know, the greatest single building in America in Spring Green, Wisconsin. Rather say Spring Green, we have a whole bunch of stuff. They start with that one thing, very clear, the greatest single building in America. You know, castles full of treasures over there, um, you know, in Doylestown. And I mean, this is how these things work. The clearer it is, the more likely you are to close the sale. So is there room for clever? Sure. Now, let me give you a couple examples. You know, there are a gazillion wineries out there and wine brands. I mean, there's a gazillion wine regions now. And so there's wine and then there's more wine and then there's ads for more wine. And then there's, here we go, happy, sweet, vibrant, lightly sparkling wine, premium 100%. I mean, there's, look at all these wines. All these ads look pretty much the same because how do you differentiate all these wines? So we're sitting here looking at all of these. You know, how often like this one? Now that one there got my attention because on the bottle of wine, if you look down there, it says fat bastard. <laughs> so I went, well, that's that'll get your attention. You know, but here is 25th Dream Brand anniversary. I mean, these are all bottles of wine. And what happens after a while, we've seen so many that none of them really stand out. You know, until I saw this one, no wimpy wines. That is where you're clever. But the reason we did clever, they did clever in this case, is because they had to somehow grab our attention. And then they put wimpy, lacking presence or strength, weak, lame, bland, dull, originated from whimper. I mean, they did a great job. They didn't even show a bottle of wine, but they got my attention with Ravenswood and no wimpy wines. Really good idea. Now, we were also working in northern Utah, Wyoming, in the Green River uh, what they, uh, it's, it's the gorge there, a flaming gorge, incredible place. It's one of the top trout fishing destinations anywhere in North America. However, there's a gazillion pictures of people holding fish that they caught out there in the lakes. And so what do you do to pull people into an ad? You have two seconds. <laughs> so they went with this one. You know, both Utah and Wyoming claim ownership of America's top fishing destination, the stunning world-class flaming gorge. So what I mean? So what we're trying to do in two seconds, sometimes if Clever pulls us into the ad, great. You know, and when they do this, five Utah records, six records in Wyoming, an average catch size of 15 inches. So sometimes we will use, use the, the Clever to pull us into the ad, and then hopefully that will pull us into the text and that closes the sale. So when you're when you don't have anything different, or you know that that really sets you apart. Sometimes what you have to do is use something to pull us in. So you say, well, that's pretty cool the way they did that. So you know, um, and in so I want to give you an example. I was working with a group of people, and I was going to promote something. I didn't tell them what it was. I knew what it was, but I was going to promote something. So what I did is I asked the audience for a funny quip, a funny quote, or a funny saying. And I told them, I'm going to build an ad in 10 minutes. And I just need their help. So just give me something. They had no clue what we're going to market. Then I told them what I was going to promote. And I had that 10 to 15 minutes to put it all together. Now, what it was, was a spa in Wisconsin, Dells, Wisconsin. And what happened is I looked at all these spa ads, Pure Bliss, Your Day, Your Way. And most of these were, were competing on price, but that's always the person laying down, getting a massage. I mean, you start looking at all these ads and they're pretty much all the same. And that's a challenge. A spa is like wine. There's a lot of them. So how do you differentiate yourself? How would you pull into one of these ads? Yeah, you, that with those two seconds. And so these are all the different ones. And so I knew that we had to do something to get people's attention. So in this case, we're going to go back to Clever. So I said, okay, I'm going to design a half page ad. Okay. And this could be an online ad. It could be anything. But the quote that somebody gave me was this. One out of four people in this country are mentally imbalanced. Now, there's more to it. I'll get to that in a minute. And 
I thought, okay, now if I put that to the top of the ad, that's probably going to get people's attention. So then I went and grabbed a stock photo of a woman who looks a little bit mentally unbalanced. Now, normally I like only doing one photo in an ad, but here I said, okay, and now we're promoting a spa. So here's the basis for our ad. And then I put in the copy. So here's that quote. One out of four people in this country are mentally imbalanced. Think of your three best friends. <laughs> if they seem okay, then you're the one. <laughs> and so then I said, okay, that was the quote I was given. So then I put, perhaps it's time you found your balance. Book a spa stay at the incredible Kalahari Spa's Sanity Retreat this May. I did it for Mother's Day. Bring your three best friends and save 30%. Book it right now while you're thinking clearly. www.sanityretreat.com, only in Wisconsin Dells. I didn't have to put any logos. I didn't have to do anything. I had two seconds to pull them into the ad and then close the sale. So there's how I got their attention in this case. And then pulled them in. If they seem okay, you're the one. So people wanted to, so what's next? One out of four people are mentally imbalanced. Now what? And then, Tell me why. Perhaps this time you found your balance. And then a call to action. Book a spa stay at the incredible Kalahari Spa Sanity Retreat. You know, and then there's the urgency. Book it right now where you're thinking clearly. And then I put in this. And by the way, I made up all this stuff. I don't even know if they ever ran it. You know, I don't even know if sanityretreat.com is available. If it is and you have a spa, use this. Um and then I just did only in Wisconsin Dells. That's the tagline. Here's the point. There's only 67 words, including two for the website address. See what I mean? Sanity retreat. And so that's where thinking where clever can come in and work. When it's so crowded like wineries or spas or I'm trying to think of other things where it'd be overly crowded and you've got to stand out from the crowd. That's where clever can come in. So for you, you can do the same types of things. Find ways to pull people in. Like 7% of religious Americans pray to God about finding a good parking spot. I thought that would be a fun one to play with. You know, few women admit their age, few men act theirs. I mean, these are all just things that could pull people into an ad. Where do forest rangers go to get away from it all? You know, and you could find lots more. Time is precious. Waste it wisely. You know, can you can you frown while on a jet ski? That would be perfect for a water skiing destination. You know, you never learn anything by doing it right. I mean, there's just, and you could go find dozens of those on the web. A lot of times what I'll do is I'll do clever sayings around water, and I go to Google and I go to images. I don't sit there and look at certain, I go to images, and a lot of times they will show up in the images, all these quotes and funny sayings. So on that first one there, the 7% of religious Americans pray to God about finding a parking spot, I did a quickie five-minute ad. I took a, a stock photo of a massive traffic jam and then put down there, look at that, 100% of our visitors, thank God they found this parking spot and they're the only one there. See what I mean? So sometimes you can do that to pull us in and then that there is like, wow. So that's what you can do. So in conclusion, one signature photo that evokes emotion, you know, okay, no more than two. You saw I used two in that ad and I used two in the other one. And then a header that pulls us in, does a double take. So in that two seconds, we go, what? And it pulls us in. And then body tax that you're the best or tells us why you, you have to convince me. And then the call to action, book it now while you're thinking clearly. The next step, log in now. You know, and then, and by the way, you'll find it in Wisconsin Dells or wherever you're at. And then you put your logo, your tagline, that's the exclamation point. And with that, clear is always more compelling than clever, but there is opportunity for clever as because sometimes we need clever to pull us in and grab our attention because we're in a crowded marketplace like wineries or or galleries, or retail shops, you know, all of those things. And with that, 
The next in this series is Marketing 14, Claiming Your Business on Google.